Hi guys, in today's video, we'll be looking at how to disable lazy loading in WordPress. So by default, WordPress comes with lazy loading and is added there to increase the website speed and also for the website optimization. Now for websites that are image-based that makes use of so much images in their website, so let's say a photography website that has so many images there, the lazy loading can also mess up the user experience of that particular website. Now for my website, I can check whether the lazy loading effect has been activated by default. So I'll right click, I'll click on inspect. So I'll click on command F for Mac users and control F for Windows users. I'll search for lazy loading. Now you can see here we have this image that has a lazy loading effect and we can also see one of 27. So we have 27 images that are making use of the lazy loading. Now you can also use the arrow here to see different images that are making use of the lazy loading effect. So to disable lazy loading, we'll go to our plugins. Now from the plugins, we click on add new. Now we'll search for a plugin called WP code. So you can see the plugin here. We click on install now. Then we'll click on activate. So my plugin has been activated successfully. So I'll scroll up and I can see the option here, WP code light. And also I can click on code snippets here or I can also see the option here, code snippets. So whichever method you want to use. So I'll click on code snippets. I'll click on add new. I'll click on the first option here, which is to add your custom code. So I'll click on use snippets. So from here, I'll go to the code type. And by default, it's set to HTML snippets. But I'm going to click on PHP snippets. Now from here, I'll paste the code. Now you can check the description below for the custom code here. So I'll scroll up. Now you have the insert method, which is set to auto insert and short code. And I'm going to leave the default settings to auto insert. And also for the location, I'm going to leave it to run everywhere. So I'll click on activate to activate my code snippets. And I'll click on update. So my snippet has been updated successfully. So I'll go back to my website to check if the lazy loading effect is still there. So I'll refresh my website. Then I'll right click, click on inspect. Then I'm going to search for the lazy loading again. So I'll search for lazy loading. Now as you can see here, we have the results zero of zero. So these guys will successfully disabled lazy loading. And the second way to disable lazy loading is to use a plugin called disable lazy load. So I'm going to deactivate my code snippets and I'll click on update and I'll go back to my website just to make sure that the lazy loading is there. So I'll refresh my website Then I'll right click, click on inspect, then command F and I'll search for lazy load. Now you can see the results here, one of 27. So I'll go back to my website. I'll go to plugins. I'll go to add me. Then I'll search for a plugin called disable lazy load. So we can see the plugin here, disable lazy load. So we'll click on install now. We we'll click on activate. So our plugin has been activated successfully. So I'll go back to my website to ensure that the lazy loading is no longer there. So I'll refresh my website. Now respect by right clicking. And I'll type for lazy loading. As you can see guys, we have zero zero. So the lazy loading effect has been disabled. So with these guys, we successfully disabled lazy loading. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope today's video has helped you out on your WordPress career journey. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys.